When I released clip for pinned versus fixed support, I asked the engineers that you may suggest other areas for which such short clips may be prepared. I have received many interesting suggestions from the engineers, out of which I believe uh, structural dynamics is very important area to be focused. And so I will be creating few interesting short clips on structural dynamics. In this clip, we are going to discuss what happens during a resonance. We know that resonance occur when natural frequency and forcing frequency are very close to each other. With this clip, fundamentals like single degree of freedom, mass, stiffness, forced vibration, etc. will be refreshed. In this clip, for ease of understanding, we will discuss the most simple model which is undamped single degree of freedom, meaning there is no damping and mass can move only in one direction. Let's consider a cantilever beam having concentrated mass at end of the beam. Actually, there are infinite degrees of freedom in the cantilever beam due to self-weight. However, for simplicity, we will ignore mass due to self-weight in this example. Also, as discussed earlier, we will consider a damping as zero. Firstly, I have performed manual calculations and then created the same model in SAP 2000 for verification. For manual calculation, I calculated deflection at tip of the cantilever and based on that, stiffness is calculated for displacement in vertical direction. So now I can calculate natural frequency of the cantilever beam for displacement in vertical direction. Thereafter, I have applied dynamic force having sinusoidal variation and to create resonance, forcing frequency is considered same as natural frequency. This is the model created in SAP 2000. In the first model, I have applied dynamic force having only three cycles. Let's see the response of the structure. We can observe that displacement of the structure is increasing in every cycle. However, it is not significantly large. In the second model, now I am applying the same dynamic force having 50 cycles. Let's see response of the structure. We can observe that the displacement is significantly large for 50 cycles as compared to the earlier model. Let's see response of the structure in a model having 50 cycles and we can observe that the displacement is increasing in every cycle. So theoretically the displacement will go on increase but in actual condition the structure will fail when the material strength reaches. So what we learn from these models that to build up resonance, sufficient number of loading cycles are required with forcing frequency very close to the natural frequency. During seismic event, we know that forcing frequency varies with respect to time. Hence, it is very rare that resonance may occur during a seismic event. Remember, we consider damping as zero. In case of resonance, the damping plays a very vital role and we will see it in more details with example in next clip. Thanks for watching. Please share your feedback, comments on the subject and also please suggest other areas for which such short clips may be prepared.